my classy bae so i'm back here with a new video as promised and when i put up the poll i asked y'all if y'all want me to do a christmas booking flyer or a christmas youtube intro and most of the votes came up to a christmas booking flyer so that's what we are going to do and i really hope y'all enjoy it and learn something from it all i'm going to do here is go ahead and change my background color and i'm changing it to black now I want to go um, go and get my picture that I'm, that I'm going to have up here at the top. This is the picture that I'll be using. And if you want to know, I got this from from the app section. Um, I think it's called Image. It's the Image AI app. But this is basically how I created the image. I basically just simply put in a red Christmas background and it gave me this and other options. So I chose this one. So if you want to go and get it, you can and you don't need Canva Pro to do this. So basically, that's why I that's why I'm currently using Canva, not the pro feature, but the free Canva itself to show y'all y'all still can get this done without having to use Canva Pro. But best in believe I am going to change I mean get Canva Pro again after I get finished recording this video and editing and uploading it to YouTube. But I just wanted to show y'all, y'all can get things done even if you still don't have Camera Pro. But, so yes. So I just basically let my plan expire so I can show y'all this. So I want this up here. And like I said, you can use this. So matter of fact, let me go to the app and show y'all. So you go over here to apps and you scroll down and let me find it. Matter of fact, I'm going to go to, no. Matter of fact, it's right here, Magic hold up it's called magic media and right here on the images and i'm gonna show you exactly what i type i'm just put in like i said you don't need canva pro for this because you because that's basically how i got it with my own free canva so what i'm going to type in is red christmas background oops i'm spelling it all wrong not paying attention so just red Christmas background and I'm just going to hit generate image so it's going to give me four options hopefully because sometimes it do and sometimes it don't because with it still being new and fresh uh, AI system so it's still learning things and how to operate so yes as you can see when I typed it in this one came up similar to that one so that's all I typed up I actually like this one too but I'm going to just keep this one, but I just wanted to show y'all what you can do to go and find a certain one, even if you even type in pink. Say if you want to uh, use do a pink flyer, you can even do that and just hit generate again, and it will give you four more options, but instead, this time, it will be a pink background. So, yes, and there you have it, your four pink backgrounds, and these are absolutely beautiful, but let's continue on with the video okay so as you can see i got my picture up here at the top so it's a sharp edge and i don't want it like that so what i'm going to do here is go to elements and type in transparent gradient so in the search bar you can just type in transparent gradient so right here and most of them are with camera pro so I'm going to pick one that's like basically free. So this one right here, the tail one, tail, the tail and white one is basically free. And you don't need Canva Pro. So what I'm going to do is take this and do it like that. Spread it out, bring it up. Now I'm going to change it to my same background color like this. Change that one to black also. Then I'm going to zoom in so I can get, push that up. So let's see how it looks when I zoom back out. Okay, so that right there is good enough. And if you want to, like, add another one to it, you can. But I think I want to, I'm just going to, I think I want to bring, like, the picture down some. And yeah, don't get me wrong, trying to, like, um do certain things with Canva with the um free camera it's like uh it gets hard but it's, it's like it's really a challenge because all this time i always i only been working with i mean on camera pro 
instead of the free version so yes but i just wanted to show y'all y'all can't get the things done even if you don't have camera pro we have that now i want to go in and add my text no matter of fact i'm going to get my model so i'll be right back so i have my three models that i want to use and i think i should place her in the middle bring her over here like that and i'm gonna keep her at the end hopefully this looks like a good placement that i have them in but we shall see now i'm going and another thing is if you want to use this i will post the matter of fact i did it in my last video with the christmas on youtube banner i will leave the prompt on the screen so y'all can go and so y'all can go and create your own in mid journey or whatever ai system that y'all may be using but yes i will definitely do that for y'all so i'm going to lock this because it keeps moving when i try to drag get all of them together now what happened you know what let's try this again because now it's let's try this again because i didn't okay so now that we have it i can just hit group and i could basically send them to the back not all the way to the back let's go so as you can see like this and if you want to make them smaller you can okay so that right there is good let me position them now i want to go and add my text i actually like this one but you can't use it basically use it with everything so yeah you can't just continue to stick with one fine and think it gonna look right with every flyer because it's not so yes so right here i'm just going to put in december bookings so we have in december bookings and you could you could honestly like say if you're making a custom flyer for uh one of your clients or something you could actually make this into two flyers because you could like say if, when you get finished with this flyer and and you don't want like pictures on it you could i'll show you once i get done with this i'll show you exactly what i'm talking about um so i got these similar bookings and i want this up there like that now i'm going to add another text let me just put a copy down here and i'm not going to keep the same file it's just going to say now available oops so now i'm going to go and change my font i have my font chosen that i want to use i don't know why it comes out so big the way that it does but let me make this smaller okay so now i have my not available but the thing is i'm not going to keep it like this i'm going to actually make it smaller like this then i'm gonna go over here to spacing and basically space out the letters in it maybe like oh and 62 i'll see once i zoom back out on this flyer and see exactly how it looks now uh the next video i will be doing will be the um christmas youtube intro but trust and believe you're going to need camera pro for that unless you could like find some like great elements free elements but like i said it's a mm, it's a struggle trying to find good elements without camera pro so when i do that video i'm definitely going to have camera pro again so yes this is right here just to show you you can get the flyers done without having to use camera pro so yes and i really hope it helps oh and another thing to those because i noticed like you know when i go to my youtube studio i notice certain things if you subscribe please make sure when you hit subscribe you click on it again and hit I think it has you you're supposed to click on all notifications when you um when you hit the subscribe button you're supposed to hit it twice and when you hit it the second time hit all post notifications or something like that so yes then i'm going to take this and put it like that now i want to go and get my silver i'm going to put that down here so i have my silver what i'm going to do is go over here to add photo and i'm gonna basically take the brightness up on it I'm going to crop it like this because i'm actually going to go and i don't think i want it well basically want it that big but i shall see okay matter of fact i am i'm going to do it from side to side 
like this but i don't think i'm gonna leave it that wide so what i'm going to do is go over here to elements and click go to my square and so here is my square and as you can see when i already selected it it had already changed it to the color that i was possibly looking for when i was going to do this so i'm going to resize that silver like this and if it's not you don't think it's in the right place you would just move it up and it will you know what i think it don't move out of place again so let's try it oh, okay so now we have it in the right place okay so with this i'm going to copy this one and i'm going to resize it and take the spacing back down to zero like that then i'm going to go over here and just simply type in your social media you can change this to another font, but I don't want my flyer look like looking too tacky because I'm already down to the two fonts already, and I don't want it three to make it look so tacky or whatever. So with most of my fonts, I really try to keep them down to like two, if possible. Most of the time, I try to anyway. Okay, so I have this. Uh, then I'm going to make another copy, and over here, it's just going to simply be the phone number and hit control again on my keyboard and yeah now i i don't like how close that is to the edge so i'm gonna do it like that then zoom back out so now i want to go and get my icons my two icons i have a instagram one that i'm going to change to the color white and i'm going to change the other one to the color white also so let me zoom in so i can move this over and make this smaller to fit in and I'm going to basically do the same with this phone icon we have that the next thing I want to do is I'm going to take this same red right here that I use and this is just something that I like to do with my flyers now so I got this like that like I said, this is just my style or something I like to do with my flyers. It just like it just basically give it that touch. Now I want to add this down here. So this, basically, this could be like your website if you want to add that on, but it's up to you. So www.yourwebsite.com, and you can basically keep it like this. So let me zoom out and show y'all. Okay. Okay, so we have it like that, or you can either take it and, because this is something I like to do with my, my other flyers also. I like to space the letters out to make it fit like all the way across like this. But I'm not going to keep it like that, but I just want to show y'all y'all can do that also. So I'm going to just keep it like that. Okay, so I told y'all earlier that I was going to show you you can make this into two flyers with the picture and without. So what you can do, I'm going to go over here to add page, and then I'm going to... Let me unlock this so y'all can see. I'm going to just copy all of that and group it. And I mean, that's what I mean to do. I mean, select everything, then um, group it together. So I hit paste. So this is the second flyer. Now, the only thing I want to do with this one is ungroup like the, the women up here. Oops, I forgot to ungroup the whole thing. Okay, so say if you don't want the women up here, just go ahead and delete it. And I'm telling you, okay, so what you can do with this one, you would just have to take the picture, crop the picture, like something like this. And then we have this. You could bring this up. And you could just, you could like literally make this uh, book and supplier just like this and keep it as is. So like that, and even if you want to make it another color, so let me show you how it'll look with a pink Christmas background. This one right here. Say if I'm going to make it bigger, crop it, position it to the back, like this, and you can still see it. So I have to do some adjusting like that, and of course, I'm not going to keep that red. So we go over here and change it to one of the um, shades of pink that we have. Okay, so, and we can also change this also to that same pink. 
Okay, so and that's basically how you would do it. And you just position this stuff wherever you would like. So yes, so I basically just made another flyer out of this one. And the only thing I did was just position like the word and change that background. Change that background right there and remove the females. Easy. And you could make another copy and do something else different with it. So if you have an Etsy shop, you could go and list them just like that. And you will have like four or five or how many you choose to have just from this specific one flyer. And you could just have your four or five listings just like that. It is, it's, it's not hard at all. So yes, that's the end of this video. And I hope y'all enjoy it. And I hope y'all learned something. So if you're new here, please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would truly appreciate it. And that's it for this video. God bless.